So what would you do next? And you basically find your market, look at the areas you're interested in, find your market, and then decide whether you can make your own or promote other people's. Well, find first of all, uh, as I said to you, the two routes I would suggest you probably go down is you're either going to become uh, an expert in your field mm -hmm. or you're going to become a publisher of information or products in that field. Mm -hmm. So, you know, depend, that's why I say if, if, if it's a business you're going into or an avenue you're going into and you want to become an expert in that field, you're going, you're going to have more standing if you, you've got some sort of standing already in that field. I mean, with, with, with your uh, niche, for example, you, have, you command some respect in that because you've got some knowledge in that. Mm -hmm and hence you can talk with authority and you, you know what contacts to make in that niche. Mm -hmm. Putting it all together and producing the end product is what you're doing now obviously and you're doing that very well. You, you've had great success in, in the short time you've been doing this. But you get so many people who don't know what to go in and they're taking in, right I want, I want to be out of earn money online, I want to learn to work from home and they're, they're going for the glamour of the, all the big markets which is diet and fitness, health and beauty, forex trading, mm -hmm. gambling, business opportunity, get rich quick, and you see so many beginners going into these markets because a lot of them are told that these are markets where they're keen buyers, they're, they're, they're rabid buyers, they will buy this stuff. They are very rabid markets, but for a beginner to go into them, you're going to stand no chance. These markets are controlled by big money spenders, advertising, and literally you, you, it's not unusual for someone to spend £10,000 a week on advertising in them big hungry markets because the rewards are so big. So it's, you've, you've got to start small, you, you've, you might as well start small in something you've got a knowledge in, you might as well hone your skills and learn your skills, build your confidence, build your confidence up, put your first, and video is, I spoke to you before Maria about video, video is a very big thing now, YouTube's been out for four years now, look how massively YouTube's grown in four years, it, it, it got, Google knew how it was going, Google bought you uh, YouTube, they knew where it was going. So again, information products which are video based like what you're doing here for example, fantastic, especially with the information you can provide when you're actually talking on a one-to-one, -one, you can get real information from real people, no, no sugar coating, you can see what's being done and people like that, and people like rather than the written word, although there'll always be a place for the written word, getting information products and harnessing them skills, especially if you've got a a niche where you're interested in and you've got a bit of a passion. People like to know how to clean their trumpet. People like to know how to build radio remote control cars. People like to know where's the best places to bungee jump in the world. All these different things. They are fanatical people. Train sets, uh, collecting train sets, collecting antiques. They've all got different areas. You, you can type the word forum after any word and you'll find a, a, a community of people. I mean, for, for, for ourselves, my partner used to be a joiner yeah. and he done a DVD set on how to replace double glazed units and that's got massive hits on YouTube. Exactly. Uh, nobody thought that would ever make yeah. money but just so that niche alone yeah. selling the information product. But one of the biggest good. things is find, hone your skills first, learn your skills. Yeah. Forget about everything else about instant wealth, it's not about that. Anything that comes to anybody you've got to actually grow, it's like anything. You've got to put the seeds in before you get the tree or the plant or whatever. Like for yourself, you set up the Internet Market UK IMS in yeah. 2008. So you've developed certain niches and you made money in different niches by affiliates, by making Yeah, well, basically, as I said to you, I started off totally cold in 2005. Um, one of the great places which I advocate for people to start is on eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got four, at this time of uh, this video, we've got four eBay shops which we actively still run. Well, I don't now, my wife does that. So she, she, we're now a partnership and she actually does all the donkey work, so to speak. So they sound very profitable. Yeah, well eBay is a, a, a very profitable way, but you'll find a lot of people who make a lot of money initially with eBay tend to move into other markets. So eBay is a good platform for starting off with because you've basically, you've got that ready market in front of you waiting to buy without you having to get a list. So what you're saying is if, if it's tried and tested on eBay, it's very likely to work elsewhere. Well, it's, it's somewhere to gain a bit of confidence. Mm. So if you can't sell anything on eBay, the chances are you're not going to be able to sell anything anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So it's a great place to start, basically. 